Although commercial and recreational fishing can be fun, it can also result in the brutal extinction of a lot of species. Let us focus on one of the most endangered species out in the ocean, the Nassau grouper. The Nassau grouper, also known as the Eastratus, got its name from its once hysterically large population in the Bahamas. Nassau groupers are a reddish brown in coloration with vertical light bars along the head and body. The female Nassau grouper are normally a little larger than the male. During their mating season, the male becomes black on top and white beneath and the female becomes almost solid black in color. An adult Nassau grouper can weigh up to 14 kilograms, which is approximately 30 pounds. The Nassau grouper belongs to the Saranidae family of fish, which are perch-like fishes. This family of fishes contains nearly 450 different types of species. Nassau groupers are the most important groupers for commercial fishery in the West Indies. Groupers are one of the top predators in the ocean. They are a sit and wait type of predator. Nassau groupers, like most groupers, is an ambush predator, which eats fairly large fishes, invertebrates, large crabs, and lobsters. Groupers feed by swallowing their prey whole. They do not chew. They use their very large mouths to create enough negative pressure to suck in whole fishes and lobsters. The breeding season of the Nassau groupers normally begins between November to February of each year. But because of the active hurricane season, they have moved inland a few months early to begin the spawning aggregation. During the spawning, more commonly known as mating, they gather in hundreds or tens of thousands. All known reproductive activity happens in these aggregations from November through to February around the full moon. Spawning behavior involves vertical spiral movement, short vertical runs followed by a rapid aggregation then a dispersal run near to the bottom of the reef over a 7 to 10 day period in relation to the full moon. Despite being top predators, they themselves are preyed upon by reef sharks, barracudas, and other larger sea predators, which is a part of the normal life cycle. The Nassau grouper's existence is mainly threatened by humans because of overfishing during the breeding season and the catching of undersized groupers.
Not only are their existence threatened by fishing, but also by invasive species, habitat loss, and destruction of coral reefs. The current population is said to be more than 10,000 mature groupers, but has been constantly decreasing. They were placed on the World Conservation Union's Red List of Threatened Species in 1996 and was determined to be endangered when their population decreased by 60%. Over a third of spawning aggregations was estimated to have disappeared. Nasu groupers are considered to be commercially extinct in some areas of the Caribbean. The Nasu grouper needs suitable habitats, but sadly they are declining due to reef destruction. They need quality coral reefs to survive because their population outlook is not optimistic. Fishermen, please be vigilant and aware of your surroundings. Whenever you see Nassau groupers in large schools moving closer to land, it clearly indicates that it is getting closer to their spawning season. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates on our weekly articles. Feel free to check out our playlist and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.